Hi, so I'm Simon Eaglestone. I'm the research manager for trauma sciences at the Royal London Hospital. Uh, primarily, our group's interested in control of hemorrhage. We're looking at why one in four of our trauma patients, who are trauma, physical injury, our patients turn up and have problems clotting. So we're investigating the mechanism for how the body reacts to that shock, that physical damage, and why that leads to clotting disorder when if a patient's bleeding, obviously you want them to be able to clot and control that blood loss. So here we have our model of a, a normal healthy blood vessel. It suffers a trauma and the body's first reaction normally would be to start to produce a fibrin mesh. So once activated in response to trauma, the body will produce this little mesh and start clotting. So you have fibrin strands, which are the nice little green rods here. And then to that, we have platelets, white blood cells that are circulating. They recognize the clot formation, become activated, and they stick onto this mesh and basically plug the gap. That then captures red blood cells that are circulating, and there you have a nice, healthy clot formation. What we've been able to show is that with one in four of our trauma patients, they have a problem with this clotting mechanism. They have a clotting dysfunction or a coagulopathy. And this clot is actually not working properly. The representation here with the, the ping pong balls is activated protein C. Now this is produced in response to trauma and shock and that leads to clot breakdown. So as you can see, as the fibrin mesh is removed, the clot slowly disintegrates until the clot vanishes and blood effectively hemorrhages or flows freely from the wound. Our, our model here nicely demonstrates that and what we're trying to do is develop ways of inactivating that protein C or controlling or restoring that normal blood clotting capability.